Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM 2 with Reinstein. Before we embark on our mission, I want to show you a new subscriber. Let's welcome him to the table. He is called Philip Dar uh, Barton, sorry. And I've customized his character to look exactly as he's specified in the comments section, which you can do too if you're new to my channel and you want a character in my playthroughs. Please let me know on any of my playthroughs. If I can rename characters, I will do so with... Um, with the subscribers. Now actually if we click on Philip Barton and we check on soldier abilities you can see what I've unlocked on him now. So I've got Inspire, Stace, uh, he's actually got Stasis Shield and Soul Steel, Solace, Schism, Fuse and Null Lance. So he's pretty badass but he's still in training at the moment so he won't be joining us on this mission. Now let's head back to the bridge and I'll show you the mission that we're going to be embarking on. It is a guerrilla ops mission and as a reward, we're going to get a Grenadier. Now, this is the one I wanted to do. I've looked through the others. This is the one I want. One gives us supplies, which we don't need. Um, and this counters the dark event of new construction. So they're be constructing another alien facility. And it kind of counters that, as long as we win, obviously. So let's choose our team. We've got Colonel O'Carroll. Blitz, our little hobo. He's a subscriber too. Lord Cucumber. The only one who's not a subscriber is Colonel O'Carroll, actually. Colonel O'Carroll, sorry. Uh, we got Oz, Ash and Crow, and J Pop. Now, it might be a good idea to take a sniper on this mission. So I think. I think we'll let Ash and. Uh, we'll let J Pop have a little seat out on this one and we'll take me. The rest of the squad I'm happy with. We've got plenty of proximity mines, we've got grenades. Yeah, Lizzie's got blue screen rounds as well. So let us embark on the mission! This shouldn't be too difficult. We've got nine enemies to fight. Alrighty, folks, here we are on the battlefield. So we need to protect this uh, data interceptor device, which is over here, and neutralize all enemy targets. And we start off on the roof over here with Hobo Larry. So I think, uh, seeing as there's a lovely bridge here that we can use, we'll use that as sort of a, a staging post for the fights that are to come, I think. So I'll get my sniper up on the roof. Lizzie has proven to be the most effective sniper in my squad. Um, let's get Oz over here next to the ladder. Ash and Crow, where should we put you? We'll get you down there. We still don't know where the enemy are just yet. Uh, let's get Colin O'Carroll over that way. Lizzie, now you're going to charge towards that bridge. And then Lord Cucumber, you're a freaking badass, dude. You've even got two, two armor now on your suit and I've upgraded you with a special little surprise on your arm which I'll show you if it uh, ever becomes you know usable in any situation now Hobo Larry where shall we put you let's get you up there now the reason I'm moving so far ahead is if if we spot anyone where he is it gives me an opportunity to choose where to position my other troops. Doesn't look like there's anyone up on the roof here. And there is our first enemy. Two mechs and an advent officer. Okie dokie. Alright, I want to move Lizzie next. Let's get Lizzie up here. So if I move her there, she won't be spotted. Alright, good, good. And then Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Let's put you there. He shouldn't be able to spot you there, I wouldn't think. How have they spotted you? Oh, because you've run through that. Oh, man, that sucks. What the hell? Everything was going well until that point. <laughs> Never mind. I don't think we're going to lose on here anyway, so we'll be fine. Now, we can hack something. This might give us something give that will aid us in our fight against the uh, dirty aliens. What have we got? System override. A soldier gains squad sight for two turns. Squad gains squad sight for three turns. I'm going to use that. 55%. Can Ash and Crow do it? Oh, he's just failed. A failed attack will result in all enemies gaining a defense and mobility boost. Oopsie. It ain't good. As usual, Reinstein starts messily, shall we say. Never mind. We'll be fine. Uh, what I could do... No, I think I'll move Colin O'Carroll there. Have you spotted more enemies? Oh no, the Overwatch is activating. 
Oh shit, eight damage. Another eight damage, holy crap. Gremlin heal. Fix him. Damn, I always start, well, I tried to start so well, but it always goes pear-shaped. Maybe we'll fire this freaking thing over here. We'll fire a proximity mine, that'll put the wind up him. Go on, Lord Cucumber. Go on, my son. There we go. Oh, it's just so close, man. I hope we don't take too much damage. We could f do a saturation fire, which just about reaches that mech. Uh, or shred. Yeah, this is the upgrade I've given him. Shred storm cannon. Look, it actually reaches them as well. Check this out. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that freaking beautiful? So, things were looking good, then they look bad, and now they look slightly better again. And if anyone comes close to Oz, he will use his blade storm. Ha <laughs> ha there we go, they're all dead. Ha ha ha, you thought you had the drop on me, but nah man. Reinstein's got tricks up his sleeve. Alright, we still don't know where the rest of them are. Um, we'll move Hobo Larry down there, I think. Just to scout out the area. I'm being a bit reckless with you, but I think you like that style of play, don't you, Hobo? There we go. Two Vipers and an Archon. Another group of three. It would be tougher if they just came bunched in groups of six. Not bunched together, because then I could just blow them up with proximity mine. But uh, if they were closer together and they revealed themselves more uh, all at once sort of thing, then it would be better for them. But... Um, I'm not sure, Oz, what to do with you yet. Right, Patch. Might use your... I think I'll use your med kit. Don't move. You'll be all right. That's right. Heal yourself up. You're ready to engage again. 55%. Maybe we'll just put you on Overwatch for now. Let's see. Lizzie might be able to destroy there. Let's see how this goes. 71%. Look at the titty on display again. Oh, he dodged it, but five damage. Good job, Lizzie. It's better than nothing. And then... Hmm. Well, we have got proximity mines, so why don't we use them? I think... Maybe if we move Oz here, maybe that'll put you in a good position to throw this. Uh, it's not not perfect, but we might as well use what we've got. Mm. Finally. Okay. Ash and Crow, Gremlin Heal, Capacitor Discharge. Leave you on Overwatch now. Boomer! You can get a bit closer. Lovely. I know we're all bunched together. Sorry about that. 50%. So if we suppress... Ah, oh, we can only hit that guy anyway. Um, Put you there so you're a bit closer for the next turn, I think. Okay, Archon. Over to you, mate. Hobo Larry's right in his eye line. Look at that. He's like, don't you fucking attack me, goddammit. Proximity mine. Oh, come on. How is that? He's on the edge of it. How has that hurt him? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, Bladestorm missed. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get it. Oh, Christ, mate. Battle, battle frenzy. Oh, clogged over the head. No. Oh, no. Hobo Larry. And we better heal you, I guess. If we can. Ah, oh, there we go. Go back there. Yeah, gremlin heal. Don't worry, hobo. We'll save you. Don't worry at all. And then Lizzie. Yeah, what I'm going to do is... Let hobo Larry move there. We've got the objective in sight. Yeah. We've got a line on the target. Move to protect that gear at all right, this will be the sixth enemy destroyed. There's only three left on this mission. 
Hobo Larry exacts his revenge. That's it, mate. Good job. Alrighty. Where are the rest of these alien scumbags? Will do. I think Oz has spotted them. Maybe. Yeah, he has. Here we go. Sector pod. What else was there? Oh. Uh, what do you call that? That's one of those blade dudes. Okay, team, we're gonna need to move you up closer to the action. Let's do this. And patch. I wonder, it might be good to put you up there. Moving. Ooh, Lizzie's got a good shot on. Can't exactly tell what she's shooting at there, but she's shooting at something. Oh, she missed. Damn, she's been off her game lately. Oh dear. Moving on target location. All right, boomer. Saturation fire. That should work. Five damage, but missed that. Yeah, but it's got no armor now. So, sector pod, your move. I suppose they're going to attack the, the data thing. No, they aim for Hobo, but missed him. This hasn't been, an, uh, once again, it hasn't been a tactical masterclass from Rhiney, but uh, that's what you expect from me by now. I'm by no means an expert, but I do enjoy this game immensely. Oh, here he comes, the Lancer. Blade Storm. Yeah, Ozzy made him burn. You gonna die next turn. And eh, 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 that rhymes. Another blade storm. Oh, damn, son. Oh, look like he chopped his head off. Look like he sort of elbowed him in the face and then ch to stun him and then chop his head off. That was sweet. Okay, shield bearer. He is the stupidest ability, mate. That is the stupidest. Cavalry? What the fudge? Reinforcements incoming. I wonder if we've got anyone closer to there who can throw a proximity mine there. Patch. I think I'll use the capacitor discharge ability that he's got. Then Blitz, we could run him over here. Where was it? Yeah. The enemy are coming in there, so... Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Need to take care of this big dude. Yeah. Let's go for the capacitor discharge. Yeah, and then Hobo Larry to take down the sector pod. Go on, son. Yeah. You have been shut down. That's better. No longer a threat. No longer a threat. All right, Aussie. Let's go behind this dude and shoot him in the back of the head, mate. Why not? Here we go. Oh, critical as well. But, but he's not down. So Hobo Larry. Oh, maybe, maybe. Maybe not, no. Uh, do I use Hobo Larry's proximity mine or what? Um, let's rock. Let's rock and roll. Right, I'm gonna put you the oh, Lord boy. Cucumber. And there's not really any cover to run behind. That's the problem here. Let's try run and gun. Yeah, if we go there, go, go, go. then we throw the proximity mine where the enemy are going to drop down. Like there. And then we're prepared for when they do drop and they'll just walk into an explosion, which is how I like it. I'm on it. Lord Cucumber. Right. Now obviously, this guy's still alive, but I don't foresee him doing too much damage. Let's see what they're dropping off as reinforcements. 
Eh, just some troops. No biggie. Haha, <laughs> do you see the proximity bud just waiting there for them? It's like beeping away. Beep beep. Beep beep. Any sudden move and you're down, son. Come on now. <laughs> Elite Trooper was killed. Elite Trooper was killed. And that guy just has no cover. Epic. <laughs> oh, Ozzy. He's going to shoot you. <laughs> he missed. What an idiot. Hobo Larry. No charge in with your sword. Rawr, once more for Sparta. Rawr. Damn it. You didn't die. The fuck. Oh, you going to die. Hang on a second. Yeah, go Oz, you cut this guy. There we go. Shield bearer down, and you're in cover. Nice, nice, just in case, you never know. And there we go. Ash and Crow to finish the mission. Enemy destroyed. Look at that badass look on your face, dude. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Oh, hells to the yeah, another victory, baby. Excellent performance. Good job, everyone. Thank you. Let's get back to the ship and heal up. Well, well, well. Another epic mission. Easily, easily done. I think that kind of says to me that maybe we're ready for the final showdown. But uh, I don't think I'm going to go for it just yet. But in at the very least, the next mission will include our new subscriber. And, oh, look at this. We've got a new... We got that new soldier, Colonel Jack Brown. Lovely. So, look forward to the next episode where we will be welcoming Mad Madge, whatever that means, Philip Barton into the mission. Thanks for watching, guys. Please take care and have a great day. Love to you all. Peace out.